people living along the Alafaya River waking up to a lot of this flooding around their homes. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. ABC Action News reporter Lauren St. Germain joins us now live from the River Drive Squirrel Way Road area. Lauren, have you seen conditions change out there throughout the morning? Yeah, James and Dee, I want to talk about two things we've noticed. So first of all, when we came out here this morning around 430, we started our live shots right near this bush. Now come check this out. Walk with me this way because look how much the water has actually receded. We guesstimate that that's probably about eight feet. But here's the thing. According to the National Weather Service graphs, the river has actually risen since 3 a.m. Now it's at 13.55 feet, which is actually higher than the anticipated crest that they thought was going to happen later this afternoon noon at 13.5 feet. So two kind of different things that we've been noticing out here this morning. I want you to take a look at your screen right now because this is video we shot yesterday from Lithia Springs Park. We went to check out that area and you cannot swim there this morning until further notice because of the flooding. We spoke with um, one of the workers over there and he told us that that's not going to change for probably a few days because they'll need to do testing on the water as well. Now we spoke with a neighbor who lives on the street we're standing on right now and he said every Everyone around here kind of knows what to do when this happens just because it's so common. In fact, some of the neighbors actually moved their cars in front of his house yesterday in anticipation. It comes on up quick, you know, like if you don't get prepared for it, you wait, you might be making a disaster move. <laughs> OK, so I want to show you again what we're looking at on this road right now. The next flood stage to think about is 16 feet because this is moderate flood stage. Right now we're at 13.5. We're still in kind of the minor flood stage. So we'll be watching this all day for you, keeping you updated because that moderate flood stage could have significant impacts to houses and the neighbors living in this area. We'll keep you updated on our free ABC Action News mobile app. Reporting live in Lithium, Lauren St. Germain for ABC Action News.